Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to jumpstart your 2020 Toyota Corolla. I'll be using Noco GB150 box. You can use jumper cables or a jump box, but I'll show you how you get it done real quick. Okay, so first things first is you gotta pop the hood and she's gonna show you right where it's at. It is down here. You're gonna feel down with your hand Go ahead and then just pull like so and you'll see the little latch and that's what releases your hood release latch and then you'll have a secondary latch under here you'll stick your hand in like so push it over to the passenger side and then lift up and then under here you've got a little hood prop rod that goes down to where there's an arrow pointing to where it goes that's where your hood prop rod goes then you got to open up your positive uh, terminal access clippy thing here and just fold that back and then you can get to your positive connection and then your negatives right here. Always hook up your positive first and then your negative. And if you're jump starting it from like another car like that one, you would hook up the cables to this car and then to that car and then you would start that car and then you would start this car and then you would shut that car off and then you would remove the cables from this car and lay them down separate and then remove them from that car and then you would be done jump starting your car and that would be the sequence in which to do it. Uh, this, all right, so grab this jump box and hook up positive first. Hard to get a good bite on these uh, newer batteries nowadays. All right, so the box says we got 12.4 volts, which would say we have a good battery, but the car did not start before we plugged into it. So that sometimes can be a false readout. 12 volts is what your car runs off of. So if you had 12, you wouldn't have a dead battery. But like I said, if the car didn't start before we plugged into it and then it starts, you know you had a dead battery. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you saw when she went to crank on it, it dropped to 9.3 volts, so it was a dead battery. Now that we got it running, we're gonna test the alternator. That's the charging system. This is your alternator right here. This is what supplies the power to your car after the vehicle's running. The battery is just the power that gets the car, the engine to turn over. After it turns over, this takes over, and that needs to be at 14 volts. That gives you the two extra volts you need to charge up your battery that runs off of 12 volts. So. This runs off of 14, this runs off of 12. Your, you know, your electrical system in the car is 12 volts, but you need the two extra volts coming from the alternator to charge the battery up properly. If you're not getting that, if you're say 12.7 and lower, or at 12.7, then you got a bad alternator. If you're, uh, you know, I would, well, not 12.7, it'd be, you need to be 13.7, 13.7, would be the lowest you'd want to go. So you need to be like 13.8 to 14 volts in order to have a good alternator readout. So that's what we got here. So just the battery at this point, we'll go ahead and shut the box off and disconnect it. And that's how you jump start it. All right, you guys, that's how to jump start your Toyota Corolla. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down at the bottom and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Thank you, bye.